Wilson well, Morales from Black Feminine TV. Hello, folks. How are you? Hey, Wilson. Good. How are you doing? Good. Casey, you know, you're starting to produce more films, and this is a big project for you. What went into saying yes? Um, well, I guess it was more than that. I didn't, um, I reached out to the, to the writer and asked him if there was something that he wanted to do. And that's how it began. So it was more Ron Hansen saying yes to me, um, than it was me saying yes to anything. Um, and once Ron came on to, to, to write it, you know, I was, it was so exciting and, um, that there was no saying no and no going back. And once Mona got involved, it really became a real movie. And, uh, it, it really was a, a, a thrill and I feel honored to have been able to to sort of put a movie together like this because it's not easy. Mm -hmm. And for a moment, is there any challenges in putting together somewhat like a love story in a period of film during a certain time period where, you know, it's devastating for the parties involved in terms of the characters? Yeah, it is. It is challenging because... Um... You want to be mindful of, um, you know, of how you portray the story. You want to, I wanted to give them uh, a lot of love and celebration. And in a way, also I wish, I wanted to give them happy endings and all this kind of, like have that sort of, but I, but I don't, at the same time, we had to be truthful to the period and what was happening um uh and uh it, you know right, right then and, and sort of where they were at so yeah it, it is something you really have to take a lot of care and thought into um into in you know while you're telling this sort of story mm -hmm. and for your character casey how would you describe him do you think he was more happy that his wife found something else uh to keep her busy and not, instead of being depressed because of the early circumstances and did he, you know, did he just go with it or just, or was he living in a state of flux? <laughs> I don't think he was happy that his wife found somebody else that, you know, that, that she wanted to be with instead of him. But um, uh, I think it felt good that his wife seemed to be coming out of her depression. I think he just wished that she would pay attention to him, that she showed some affection for him. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. and Mona, you know, when you have four characters, you can kind of say this is not a play setting, you know, because... Obviously, you know, you have two characters here, two characters there, and then you put them in together. You know, it's talking about directing these four caliber of actors. Well, I was lucky to have such uh, great actors say yes to, to come and work with me on this film. Um, and everybody had, uh, you know, I, I tried to create a, a kind of a, a loving and warm setting for for the cast and, and they've really hit it off. So the, the chemistry was there uh, kind of immediately. Um, and then what's exciting to go into is just working on the different sort of layers. Like, I, you know, um, we could have, and that, and that, come, that plays into casting, obviously, as well. Like, it was, a, it, you know, I like that, um, that we had Casey as Dyer, who obviously has this, like, vulnerability and sensitivity and, like, sort of really, uh, that, 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 that's something that he brought to Dyer because he could, you know, come off as something, com someone completely um, closed off on paper in, in many ways. But then he has these moments of tenderness that I thought was really beautiful. Um, and, you know, with Chris uh, Abbott's character as well, Finney, uh, bringing in sort of charm and humor and these things that offset the, the menacing qualities I thought was important. And then obviously in the, with just even within the writing, there's so much to play with, with, uh, with the Catherine Watson and Vanessa Kirby's characters because they're Abigail and Tally, they, they, you know, they're written so layered and, um, and it was just for us, it was more just, we could have worked on it endlessly. We could have just kept going. So the only thing that restricted us was um, just the time we had to shoot it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been good talking to both of you. Obviously, there's an audience for all sorts of films. And, you know, obviously, there's going to be an audience for this. Uh, Casey, I'm looking forward to the next projects behind or in front of the screen. So have Thank you, man. A day. Mm -hmm. Thank you.